We do have school closures and delays to tell you about this morning. Here's where school is closed. OMAC, Potlatch, Pomeroy, uh, those school districts are closed. Also, Kettle Falls School District, Okanagan, and Colfax School Districts are closed as well. We also have a list of delays, school delays in our area as well. Now you can find a complete list right there scrolling across the bottom of your screen, as well as our website, crim.com, and we'll be continuing to update you all morning long here on Up With Crim with those closures and delays. Well, school is closed or delayed for many because of the incoming weather system. So let's get outside to meteorologist Jeremy Lagoo tracking it for us right now. Jeremy, it was a little bit windy out there earlier. How's the wind and snow right now? Uh, it's still windy. The snow's not coming down just yet, but we've got the blowing snow here in town. Wind gusts, well, they're pretty strong, but sustained at about 16 miles per hour. That keeps us in the mid 30s this morning, about where we've been for much of the morning. But get this, 20 in North Idaho, 27 in Coeur d'Alene, 28 in Sandpoint, 23 over in Moses Lake, and still in the teens there in Wenatchee. The wind does have a bit of a bite early on this morning, and expect that to be the case through much of the day today. We are going to hang on to that gusting wind, and at times it will be strong enough to cause damage down to our south. That's those wind warnings in place. But for most of us, it's the blowing snow. A winter storm warning in place for the Palouse for blowing snow along Interstate 91 to 3 inches of snow is prompting a winter weather advisory and some serious snow off to the north that's been falling all night is prompting a winter storm warning. We're going to hang on to the snow for much of the day in many locations here in Spokane. We're going to wind up seeing this snow move in here in about the next hour or so. That's when I think it starts. Doesn't last too long, but we do wind up squeezing out about an inch. I'm just thinking those snowfall totals are quite a bit less because of all of this wind early on this morning before the snow moves out later on that afternoon. What we see today, it's temps in the 30s. And that snow coming down, notice we do hang on to it for a bit longer, but I think that snow really only amounts to about one to two inches for us here in town. So right now, many of you are headed back to work for the first time since the start of the holidays. That's right. So your morning commute, though, to work might look a little bit snowy, so you'll want to give yourself plenty of time. Nicole Hernandez joining us now with some important tips from WashDOT while driving during winter weather. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Tim Channing. So depending on where you're waking up and, and what roads you're going to be taking, there's going to be stark differences on the road. So here in parking lots like we're standing right now, we've got a good amount of snow and just slippery conditions. But then on our main roads, they're looking much better. So I'll, let, I'll give you a look up here uh, in North Spokane County. You can see there's still some uh, slush and ice on, on the roads here. But uh, of course, uh, the further south we get closer to Spokane proper, uh, our main arterials are looking good good for now, but of course expect what you see now to get worse throughout the day as that snow makes its way here to our area. So the city of Spokane did finish a full city plow that started on Thursday. They finished it out yesterday. Right now, though, crews are preparing to respond again to this next round of snow. We do need a total of four inches of snow to start another full city plow. Now, WashDOT says that with these warmer temperatures this week, uh, they're going to be able to treat and clear roads faster. In the meantime, though, the biggest weather winter drive tip we can give you is give yourself extra time on the roads. I know it's been uh, a long uh, holiday week or so for, for many, um, but you know, maybe setting the alarm 15, 20 minutes earlier than they normally would, getting up, getting out the door, just kind of uh, a little bit earlier to give themselves a little bit of extra travel time is probably a, a big benefit as we head into Monday. And taking it slow for snowy conditions, of course, is also important with snow plows on the road. And like we always say, give yourself extra room between you and other cars, especially do that between you and snow plows as they do drive slower. And of course, that will help keep everyone safe as they clear the roads. In North Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez.